You know, what does yeah. AMD do in uh, Malaysia then? Huh? No, AMD, well, let me take one step back. Okay. AMD uh, built microprocessor for the PC, notebook, and ultrabook industry. We have a very big presence in the server industry, and that is a very, very important industry to us as well. So when products are fabricated in a wafer form, they are all shipped to Penang, and Penang is the leading, uh, if not the only, one uh, is the leading development package development center for AMD. Um, the talent pool here are just uh, great, I would say that, and they continuously build successful story for AMD in terms of product uh, introduction to the market. When it comes to it, to Pinan, we fabricate, we we develop the product, and whether it goes in the high volume. And we can then allocate whether it goes to Sucho or it stays in Pinan for high volume uh, manufacturing. Okay, that's right. Two things that you wish either need to be done or they are being done, something is being done but you feel needs to be done better. What would these two things be? It may not be AMD specific, it could be ecosystem, you know, a specific yes, also. Yes. But it's, it's again a very good question. Um, if there are two particular areas, and I think it coincides with what I mentioned earlier about um, been differentiating. Uh, I, we need talent pool. We need a very, very strong talent pool. And I just mentioned that, you know, the different the product keep moving high and high in terms yeah. of uh, our sophistication. Uh, we need a different level of sophistication of talent pool uh, mm -hmm. in near future. So we need that that kind of uh, capability. So that's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two. Continuously, and you can see it, there are many, many competing sites around the world. Yes. We need government support, infrastructure mm -hmm. incentive. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the two things I felt is very, very important for, for AMD or for any other MNCs to participate. And I guess if, if you talk about uh, uh, infrastructure, right, government support, infra what kind of infrastructure would you like to see specifically? Yeah, that's a good point. Now, the whole ecosystem, you okay. know, in, when we are here and if the product gets sophisticated, we hope that we can get supply next door right, that will help us or we can get uh, electric power that, that is constant and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, recent situation that you see in Thailand, we hope we never see that. You know, in there are floods, Thailand? Thailand, oh, you know, like oh, floods yeah, and yeah, things like that. Flaps, we yeah. hope we don't see that. Yeah. You know. um, the road system, the airport that you know, we come in and uh, our customer would not uh, be, we'll see that you know, we have a sophisticated infrastructure that uh, can be part of the whole ecosystem. I think that's important. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, when, when AMD was first approached about Crest, um, we see that as an opportunity for both parties, particularly for AMD, because I did mention about talent pool. I think we, we become a founding member, we thought that's important because uh, we like to have line of sight to the talent pool that could be developed. We hope to be collaborating with Crest uh, in terms of both talent pool and also collaborating in technology that sometimes we feel that uh, it needs some attention uh, from another, uh, maybe a university site that uh, we all can work together. Uh, we are busy with our business model, we are busy with our commercial models. Right. Uh, some of the intrinsic know-how we think that we can really have a different group of people that can look at it very differently and help us with some of the solutions that we can put in Penang. So we hope to be able to have some level of collaboration. So Crest fits into that picture and we hope that uh, we can be successful together here. Yeah.